number 16, we need to evaluate a arc uh, trig function of a regular trig function. So we have arc tangent of tangent of negative 6 pi over 7. So the one thing you got to be careful about in these, in these problems is a lot of students want to just say, okay, it cancels out and it's negative 6 pi over 7. That's not always true. So tangent of negative 6 pi over 7 will give you some and some value. And then you're going to do the arc tangent of that value to get an angle back. However, you have to take into consideration what the range of arc tangent is. So remember that arc tangent of x can only be between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. So remember, that's, what, that's the only things that arc tangent of x can output. It can take any value to put in, which is whatever tangent of negative 6 pi over 7 is, which is not some common thing that you know. However, this can only, the answer here can only in, be in between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2. Now, negative 6 pi over 7 is not in that range. So, so keep in mind, we're talking about this half of the unit circle from negative pi over 2 up to pi over 2. Now, negative 6 pi over 7 is going to be a little bit less than negative pi, which means it's going to be somewhere around here. So what we want to do is we want to find what angle has the same tangent value as that, but is in negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. In other words, what's the reference angle here? And then let's just make that in one of those two quadrants. So if this whole distance right here, this angle, is negative 6 pi over 7, then that part that must be left, in other words, the reference angle, has to be pi over 7, because this whole thing would have to be 7 pi over 7, because that would give you pi. So our reference angle here is pi over 7. So the other, the other thing that we need to consider is, would tangent have been positive or negative there? This is in the third quadrant, so this tangent would have been positive. So where we put this now has to be in between negative pi over 2 and pi over 2, but it has to be where tangent would have been positive. And if we only have quadrant 1 and quadrant 4 to work with, where is tangent positive? Tangent positive there in quadrant 1. So we want the angle pi over 7 reference angle in quadrant 1, and remember that if it's in quadrant 1, the reference angle just is the angle. So we have our angle of pi over 7. So that would be our answer here. So another way of looking at this is that this is asking you what other angle can you take the tangent of and get, it would give you the same answer as negative 6 pi over 7. That is pi over 7. And pi over 7 is the simplest uh, answer to that question.